Hey all, it's uh, it's Jace here. So I just wanted to start this video off real quick um, before I like get into anything uh, and address why I missed a post. I think like two-ish weeks ago at this point. I didn't really say anything about it in a video yet, and I just wanted to like give a reason for that uh, because I actually had finals that week for school, um, and I I did try to like set aside time to make like a video and stuff to like go up that week but I had again I had finals that week and I had a bunch of other school stuff that I had to do and it just didn't become practical to like make a video at that point so I missed an upload I'm sorry about that um but I am on summer vacation now so I can hopefully do that uh, a little or like I can hopefully like make more stuff a little bit more often now um but yeah, with that said, um, today's gonna be a little bit of a different video from what I normally post. Because it's normally a lot of, like, speculation and such. Um, based off of, like, findings or, like, other guesses and stuff about Hytale and, like, when it's gonna release and such. Either that or, like, postcard reviews, but today it's, it's more of a discussion about, like, some really crappy news that we got. Uh, confirmed from the Hytale devs recently. So if you're not, if you're not in the loop about what that is, um, Budacat, one of the lead Hytale developers or something like that, I, I can't remember what position he has exactly, um, but Budacat DM'd, I believe it was Canadian Flash on Discord, about, like, two or three days before E3 started, or I guess like before Summer Games Fest started, um, to confirm that Hytale had no plans of appearing at either of those events. And now we're kind of like on the tail end of E3. We know that to be 100% true because like we've seen all the E3 stuff. So where was Hytale? And what does its absence mean for the game and for the community. That's kind of what I wanted to talk about today. And starting off, like, real bluntly, I think it means that Hytale's not coming out this year. Um, I know that's not what you want to hear. I know that's not what I want to hear. But look at it this way. The game was said, or like, it was speculated, on, like, from the developers. The developers said that they think that they can get us a playable version of the game, meaning either, like, a beta or release, by this year. And we are now almost more than halfway through the year, and we have received literally no update on anything related to the game. The only thing that we have been getting are these, like, barely substantial screenshots of the game every Friday at, like, 11 a.m., um, and they just, they don't show off anything of substance at all. I, I think I mentioned that in a previous video, too, but, like, everyone thought that the devs were, like, really building up to something, right? Because, again, like, why would they wait so long into their, like, alleged release year? to make any major announcements about the game. Like, everyone was thinking, like, oh, it's gonna be at E3, it's gonna be at E3, it's gonna be at E3, or, like, Summer Games Fest or whatever. They're gonna show up, uh, especially after, like, Riot Games was announced to be at Summer Games Fest, everyone thought that they were gonna, like, show up, and they are gonna drop, like, a new trailer, they are gonna give us some more release info, they were gonna talk about the game a little bit more, but then they just outright confirmed that that's not gonna happen, and again, we've seen now that it didn't happen. So, I think this late into the year, we don't really have a chance of it coming out at all in 2021. I, I think I think the earliest we can hope for is maybe like late February of 2022. But even that's kind of a shot in the dark at this point. Like, I, I'd be surprised if we got anything earlier than that. And again, I know that's not the news that anyone wants to hear. But, like, given how things are looking right now, that's just that that's just how it looks to me, and it it kind of sucks, uh, because I know again we were all really hoping for that E3 presentation on the game and we just didn't get it, so 
like what does that mean for like the community as a whole i'm like to start i'm sure a lot of people are going to be really let down by that i know a lot of people already are let down by that um and i think that it's just it, it's bad for the community especially because it's just bringing up that whole discussion again about how the devs are kind of bad at like communication and like how they're bad at like telling us what's going on because again we're halfway into the projected release year and everyone wants to know what's going on with the game and we're not receiving any information on it at all right so i think i think the community is gonna take a really big hit from this and i i think it's gonna get pretty crappy over the next like month or so um and that's assuming that they don't like release any new blog posts and stuff which at this point i'm sure they won't i'm sure we're not getting another blog post for at least two or three months and even then it's probably not going to give us any like major information on the game maybe like a combat blog post at most especially with the screenshot that we got um like this friday but Again, I, I don't I don't think that we're gonna be getting getting anything major. So yeah, again, this is a real different kind of video, um, but I just kind of wanted to get my thoughts out on this, especially since like I've made like two or three videos now talking about like oh is the game gonna release this year? Let's look at all this like evidence and speculation and like try and come up with the potential release date for a trailer or like whatever but since i like did that and since i made those videos i figured like i should probably let people know it's probably not coming out this year <laughs> i don't want to give anyone any like false hope or anything but at this point just looking at it i don't think there's any chance of it coming out in 2021 um and i will be damn surprised if it does so yeah with that said um i hope you guys enjoyed the video i don't have a whole lot more to say here um at least without like sounding redundant but yeah i, I hope you guys enjoyed the video or at least like the thoughts on it that i had to say again it's really crappy news that i'm sure no one that's in the hightail community wanted to hear but i figured i should probably like say my piece about it um, but yeah, if you, if you guys enjoy my content, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below with your own thoughts on the matter. I love hearing what you guys have to say, and rest assured, I read all of your comments. I find them very enjoyable. Um, also, if you enjoy the channel, be sure to subscribe. Uh, we just passed 240-ish subscribers, and we're, like, well on our way to 300 right now. I'm very happy about that, and I cannot thank you guys enough. So, let's keep that moving. Let's try and get to 300. We're doing pretty solid right now. Uh, but yeah. So, yeah. I, I hope you guys enjoyed. And have yourselves a damn good one. Peace out.